There are a lot of men and women we care very deeply about who haven't been home for quite a while. So we wanted to give them the opportunity to be part of Hollywood's most magic night of nights. So let's join them just down La Brea Avenue in a little place we like to call Baghdad. It is our honor to present to you the Oscar for Best Documentary Short Subject. Hi, I'm Petty Officer Joseph Smith, and the first nominee is Free Hell, Cynthia Way and Vanessa Rock. Hi, I'm Specialist Alexandria Cornero from St. Thomas, the United States Virgin Islands, and the Oscar goes to Free Hell. <laughs> Academy Award in nomination for Cynthia Wade and Vanessa Raw. Good afternoon, freeholders. My name is Laurel Hester. My disease has progressed to the point where I can't go to your meetings. This is the most grotesque instance of anti-gay hatred ever perpetrated by a county government in the state of New Jersey. They don't deserve to be in government, and we are going to do everything we can to make their lives hell in the way they've made Laurel Hester's life hell. All of us are here coming together, not just gay and lesbian New Jerseyans, but the whole crowd that's here that's here to support you, your relationship, your family, and we're gonna win. Garden State Equality made this happen. There's no doubt in my mind. Without their tenaciousness, it just wouldn't have been possible. This year, we've had the misfortune of finding ourselves in the emergency room four times. Two of those times were for myself, and one of those incidences involved a potentially life-threatening condition. And rather than being able to focus on getting myself the treatment, we had to sit there and explain what our relationship was to each other. And then I was, you know, yakking with my kids one night, and my youngest, who is the one who was gay, who was 16 at the time, said to me, you know, all I really want is to get married and have children. And I said to him, well, you know, you have several friends whose parents are gay. And he looked up at me, and he kind of stared at me for a minute, and he said, but they're not married. And suddenly, I got it in a flash, I know my son is acutely and perpetually aware that he is a second-class citizen and that he cannot attain the status that the rest of us treasure. I called the Benefits Administration Company for the union and the first person there told me she didn't know if civil union partners would be eligible for family coverage. I was then referred to another department. The next person told me that the union's plan would not cover civil union partners because the plan is covered by federal law. I followed up with the benefits administration company. This time I made clear that Sally and I were married in Massachusetts. He then said that yes, because I am married, I can indeed present my marriage certificate and become eligible for the family plan that would also cover Sally. The words civil union were not good enough for Sally and me to get equality in New Jersey, but the word marriage is.
When the Supreme Court said that we could have the same rights as heterosexual couples who wanted to commit their lives in marriage, we got excited, but there was a caveat to that. And that was that the legislator then had to decide if we were worthy enough to have it be called marriage or civil union. The legislator decided they would call it civil union. Who the hell knows what that is? Then it became much more confusing when we go to our employers and say we need to be covered or my partner, my wife of 19 years needs to be covered. Then the confusion turns into discrimination. This is unacceptable. We're in this fight and we will be in this fight until it's complete and total marriage equality. And the Oscar goes to Free Hell. <laughs> It was Lieutenant Laurel Hester's dying wish that her fight for, against discrimination would make a difference for all the same-sex couples across the country that face discrimination every day. Discrimination that I don't face as a married woman.